What's up guys? I am Trevor. I go by the Mr. Trails. Today's video is going to be part rant, part PSA. The first part of this rant is that I just did this as a live commentary over this video footage and I, uh, I didn't have my microphone settings correct, so uh, there was no audio. Two PC setups are cool, but they are a hell of a hassle. Alright, but the PSA is that the Scarred Master's new quests, you will be able to complete those with crafting Aether Hearts come 1.11.1. So if you're thinking you might have to ruin your reforge badges to get yourself some of the hipster fashion from these uh from this armor then you won't have to but here's the actual rant why at this point two years into reforging are reforge badges not customizable i know that plenty of people would want them because plenty of people prefer either the gold reforging badge at level 30 or the blue reforging badge at level 40 over the red reforging badge which is at level 50 and once people complete their desired reforging badge and they have maxed out to their XP bank on that thing, then they can't gain experience anymore. Until either A, they cave in and they actually do do a reforge because they're just bored, or B, they leave the game because they don't have anything to do, but they want to keep those reforges intact, so they, they just end up playing another game. I can't imagine the system would be that much more complex than when they implemented crowns. You can honestly do this in a somewhat lazy way. You could just have cat say, give you a quest, reforge one time, and then it gives you the one reforge badge. Reforge two times, gives you the two reforge badge, and so on. But different people like different reforge badges, so I don't think there's a reason that they shouldn't be customizable at this point. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this one. Phoenix Labs, please give us customizable reforge badges. Okay, bye.